inspirational thing, which is very significant in the history of the International Center for Gender and Advances and Sustainability Research Project. And not just for this project, but also for our great university and our country in I want to say a little bit, even though the two um, distinguished and um, that's how we introduce. First, I want to talk about um, the West I know you, the executive director of the Well, Well, West I know you is not, and this is the third time you can come to this university. Remember, we kept off and presenting a public lecture, and then he gave the first and commencement lecture during the conversation. He started his um, career as an exam in 1989, and he started as, um, as a coordinator for employment relations. And he moved from that to become the first acquired person to become the executive director of human resources. And he has remained in this position for since 2006. Really, almost 10 years now. For 2014, almost 10 years now. So that's something to remember. Because that means that um, He's going to bring his over many years of experience to this project. I also want to talk about Mr. Massey. Mr. Massey, of course, he will graduated from this university. So I think I and uh, Mr. Massey graduated from the Department of Chemistry and our chemistry. So people from that background couldn't uh, get into the banking industry. But Mr. Massey went with that background with our chemistry. He went into the banking sector and he rose to become the executive director of Societe General Bank. So that's another thing to remember. So if you have these two individuals who have met first, that means that the International Center for Energy and Environmental Sustainability Research, even though starting from a humble background with these two individuals, definitely we will reach the pyramid of energy where other centers of excellence across the globe are with this gentleman. And so I want to thank God. So today, we are here to officially endorse a memorandum of understanding that will officially show the takeoff of their intention and the agreement to partner with the university to develop this project. With the signing of the MOU today and the collaboration with Outstanding individuals who have made it in the corporate world. One thing that will stand out in terms of delivering this project, we're going to give this university a research environment of global standard. <laughs> the second point that we are going to be producing our own technologies that can address our own local challenges. And that, what would that be? That will give us confidence. And the third thing that I want to emphasize that this project will deliver, internally generated revenue. We know that we are entering a season where funding and challenges, funding financial challenges, and the government is on the university to increase the internally generated revenue. And so when you have innovation, the project you have innovations, you have commercializable researches, you have patents, you are attracting international students who pay for and then your university is listed in the global ranking, of course, definitely, your internally generating revenue will increase. So I want us to take note of these three things, and with these three distinguished Nigerians, this is what this project and this MOU work deliver. And so I'd like to thank all of us for being here, and I'd like to thank the two distinguished personalities who are setting to contact final with the university. So I want to appreciate you both. I want to thank um, our vice chancellor that this is happening in hard time. I want to thank um, the management and all the people who have come out here to support this project. About education. And as I grew in the corporate world, I realized that we're not going to make any progress either as a country or a people or a state. We don't pay attention to the core science subjects. The world is driven by these core science subjects. Uh, when I met Dr. Greenham a few years ago, I started talking about uh, the 
know, it's research center. She kept talking, kept talking. At some point, I said, okay, uh, maybe it is worth giving it a try. Uh, my appeal to those of us who are in the corporate world, those of us who have opportunity to be in government, in public service, uh, I think we need to step forward, uh, one step at a time, pick whatsoever area that uh, is of interest, and practically intervene. That is what drove me to tell Dr. Irina how to intervene. <laughs> and I'm glad, I'm glad that you are here today. Uh, I'm here with somebody I also know, has a lot of passion. In fact, he's in a better position. As an alumnus of this university, uh, he needs to go and bring a lot more people to come and uh, help support the university, not just the centre. It is a journey, but the journey will never start unless you take that first step. And I think we took that first step last week with the groundbreaking ceremony. So I commit, I'll uh, give it my best shot. Uh, it's not going to be completed in a day, but it's going to be completed. Thank you. for this project is very, very efficient. And uh, I like to work with young people with that degree of drive. Nothing has pushed me into this project more than that passion that she has for this project. And I want to thank her for this. Tonight was asking why get involved in scientific research. It's the same passion of public education that is pushing me to it. And I guess that's the same passion that's pushing me to buy a number of us into that project. Today, I would say it's step two. When we signed the, the MOU for the project, we were taking the second step into the realization of this project. I want to thank every one of you for coming out. Technology that must be durable has to be developed. So a center like this will help us to develop our own technology. And once we can develop our own technology, then we can be sure that we use that to drive development. So I want to thank you the lawyer and the Mr. Massey for standing with us. I want to thank everybody who has accepted to work on this project. I want to thank all of us for creating time to be here. I do hope that when we call on you again for whatever uh, we have to do, as we plan this project, we will gladly uh, accept and be, and be part. Thank you very much. For me, as a person, and for the University of New York, and this day could not have been possible without the special favors of the Almighty God. And for this thing to happen in the last 
month of the Kenya of Professor Mediscom for April. I want to thank God for this special favor that he has granted her. I will want to thank the two partners here present today for having faith in this project. And um, I believe after listening to Edwina over and over again, they must have come to the point of accepting that there's something inside this thing. Already you started seeing something good inside this thing. Quite a number of persons have gone for training through this center and many other good things are on the way. So I want to take this opportunity to also thank Dr. Edwina for her perseverance in seeing this project the way it is today. Uh, for this particular ceremony, I want to thank all of us that came as witnesses. And as we go, by prayer that the Lord Almighty will take all of us safely back home. Thank you very much and God bless you.